everybody, Chris Lewis coming to you once again from Austintown Fitch High School where we've got another one of our Falcon student athletes letting us know where he'll be moving on to the next level and continuing his collegiate athletic career. With us today is Jamie Sorrells, our goalie on our soccer team. Jamie, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Who do you have with you today? I got my mom and, and my dad. Randy well, and Jenny. I, I, I know your yeah. dad fairly well. Uh, we were in school together, so if you ever want to hear stories, uh, <laughs> I, I've got a few. So uh, we're just going to get started, um, you know, just talking about uh, playing soccer and, you know, what, what it's meant to you over the years. Yeah. Um, when did you start? <clears throat> I started when I was five years old at AJSL. AJSL? Yeah. And you went all the way through? Yeah, uh, I stopped around seventh grade. And did you move on to a club team from there? Yeah, I started playing at TC United when I was in probably, what, sixth grade, you think? Yeah, sixth grade, and then I played at SVA from freshman year till now. So you did a lot of traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you've been a goalie. How long have you been a goalie? And has that always been your primary position? I've done both since, like, honestly, as long as I can remember, I played both. But I started taking it serious freshman year. And when you say both, what what other position? Uh, Just pretty much anywhere. Anything. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Well, a lot of people look at the goalie as the one player who can uh, basically determine the outcome of a game. Uh, what does it feel like as a goalie to be considered the guy? Um, who is either the hero or the goat? It's, I don't know, it's a lot of pressure, but you just kind of learn to move on if bad things happen. But if good things happen, it's like, it's nice. Yeah. So you're kind of out there on an island all by yourself. Yeah. And the one thing I, I my, my sister played soccer growing up, and uh, she's a big soccer fan. And the one thing that always blows my mind is when I'm watching a, a soccer match on TV, always seems like during a penalty kick they dive the wrong way yeah. before the ball's even left the ground now when you're getting ready for a penalty kick uh, first off are you trying to watch the ball or are you anticipating so normally before the games I'll go on huddle and I'll try and see like if they have a penalty kick and I'll just see which way they go and I'll go that way but if I don't I guess it's just a guess. And for those who aren't familiar with Huddle, uh, Huddle is basically um, uh, where coaches can get their film on opposing players. So uh, that's uh, nice that you have that uh, yeah. that out there. But so you're kind of taught solely on anticipation, and is that good or bad? I guess. I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad? Yeah. Because you just assume it's he's just, going one it's way. It's just the gut feeling. Then you got to go with it. And when, when you trust your gut and it's wrong, what, what's that feel like? I don't know. It, it, it's just something you got to shake off because it's, I don't know. It's just, it's all luck. So. Soccer is luck. You heard it from here, folks. I like that. I'm going to start using that one. Have you had anyone that you looked up to? in the sport and goalie or another position um i look growing up i looked up to my little brother or my older brother i looked up to my older brother because he was always like i don't know he was always good so i just looked up to him and then when i this guy started telling me about stuff he did when he was playing soccer so i looked up to him and then for goalie i don't know i didn't I haven't really looked up to anyone for goalie. Really? Yeah. Well, there's really not a whole lot out there, yeah. if you think about it, you know, especially in, in the United States. You'd have mm -hmm. to probably look for, uh, you know, another country's national team to find a, you know, a standout goalie. Yeah. So that, that's got to be tough on a goalie. Mm -hmm. You know, the other guys, they've got uh, plenty to look up yeah. to. But, again, you guys are a, a, a different beast, no offense. Uh-huh. No, I agree. <laughs> So how has your family supported you? You said you learned a lot from this guy. Yeah, they've supported me a lot by 
sacrificing their time and driving me places and I don't know just sacrificing tons of time and energy into having me play means a lot to you yeah it does mean a lot it's excellent to have that kind of yeah kind of system around mm -hmm. you because I'm I'm sure it takes up a ton of time and and energy so uh, kudos to both of you for uh, supporting him and having his back way, way to go uh, Jamie what life lessons have you learned playing soccer especially as a goalie being out there on an island all by yourself being yeah. the guy that everybody's gonna point to as the like I said hero or the goat what, yeah what life lessons have you learned from that I've learned that no matter what you just gotta if anything bad happens you just gotta shake it off and keep going shake it off yeah that's the main thing I've also learned to uh, by playing soccer you got to stay disciplined so you can't it's just not something that comes overnight you just got to keep working and what do your teammates uh, how do they pick you up say if you uh, miss a, a, a shot that you, you should have had you know do they is there some way that they kind of help you shake it off yeah they they always tell me like they'll just try to get one back and normally like sometimes they do get one back, but when they get one back, it's a nice feeling, and they just say shake it off because stuff happens and everybody makes mistakes. So they they got your back. Yeah. They're, we're we're gonna get this for you. Don't worry about yeah. it. Well, it's nice to have teammates like that. And uh, with that, talking about teammates uh, here at Fitch, um, why don't you tell us uh, where your next set of teammates is gonna be from? Uh, Tiffin University. Tiffin University, you're going to be a dragon, yeah. right? Yep. So Jamie Sorrell's going to Tiffin University. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and put pen to paper there? All right. And while he's doing that, um, mom, dad, what, what are you feeling right now? I'm excited for him. Excited? And a lot of uh, hard work and yep. yeah, dedication paid off. Paid off. Yep. And, Dad, how about you? Same. I see you looking at that letter like, wow. You let out a sigh of yeah. relief, huh? It's yeah. been a, he worked hard and talked to a ton of coaches, and it's nice that he found a home that feels like home. So it makes us happy. And that leads me to the first question I always ask. Why Tiffin? I like that. It's, you know, it's not very known, but there's still a good amount – I mean, it's a small school, but it's a good amount of people that go there, and it's good education, and the team is very good, and the coaches are, they've always been very nice to me, and I just like, I don't know, I like that it's also a small school, so for academics, you get smaller class sizes and more more like one-on-one. -on -one. And what will your major be, have you decided? Uh, electrical engineering. Electrical engineering? Yeah. You don't hear that one too often. There's definitely... Uh, as you know the trades uh, a lot of those guys are retiring uh definitely some opportunities there so yeah. you know keep your nose to the grindstone and uh you'll probably have a job right out of school if you're lucky yeah so what goals have you set for yourself as a student athlete some goals i've set is just work hard and have fun stay disciplined work hard have fun stay disciplined yeah so it do you have any uh, expectations as far as um, you know how you're going to play as a freshman? Because uh, you were a four-year letter winner in goal, am I right? Yeah. For Fitch? Mm-hmm. So how do you think you're going to fare as a freshman? I think, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't expect to start, but I don't expect to be a low string. I expect to be, I don't know. At least competitive. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. So, well, we congratulate you, and we're happy we can be a part of this uh, special day for you. Mom, Dad, congratulations, and, uh, you know, thanks for all the hard work that uh, you've put into helping Jamie get to where he's at. So one more time, let's give Jamie Sorrells a big round of applause. <laughs> Tiffin University Dragon. Jamie, congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, again, glad we can be a part of this day for you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Once again, Chris Lewis signing off, reminding everyone in Falcon Country, 
Remember, show your falcon pride.